Hi everyone, it's Michelle from A&J Property Restoration. Last time we showed you how to create a fire escape plan for your family, and now we're gonna put it to the test. Practice your home fire escape plan twice a year, making the drills as realistic as possible. Make arrangements in your plan for anyone in your home who has a disability or special need. Allow children to master fire escape planning and practice before holding a drill at night when they are sleeping. The objective is to practice, not to frighten them. So telling children there will be a drill before they go to bed can be as effective as a surprise drill. If your home has two floors, every family member, including children, must be able to escape from the second floor rooms. Escape ladders can be placed in or near windows to provide an additional escape route. Review the manufacturer's instructions carefully so you'll be able to use a safety ladder in an emergency. Practice setting up the ladder from a first floor window to make sure you can do it correctly and quickly. Children should only practice with a grown-up and only from a first story window. Store the ladder near the window in an easily accessible location. Always choose the escape route that is safest the one with the least amount of smoke and heat, but be prepared to escape under toxic smoke if necessary. When you do your fire drill, everyone in the family should practice getting low and going under the smoke to your exit. Closing doors on your way out slows the spread of fire, giving you more time to escape safely. In some cases, smoke or fire may prevent you from exiting your home or apartment building. To prepare for an emergency like this, practice sealing yourself in for safety as part of your home fire escape plan. Close all doors between you and the fire. Use duct tape or towels to seal the door cracks and cover air vents to keep smoke from coming in. If possible, open your windows at the top and bottom so fresh air can get in. Wave a flashlight or colored cloth at the window to let the fire department know where you are located. We've just put our family's fire escape plan to the test. Now it's time for you to do yours. Fires don't give you a warning, so it's so important to be prepared. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.